Time to go vroom vroom again. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for the second season of F1 Drive to Survive. For those of you who are new to this series, this is a great way of catching up on everything that happened in F1 from the previous season. I watched the first season, which was released last year, during about the halfway point through the 2019 run. And then now that I've watched the second season just before F1 starts up this Sunday, I'm actually really excited now because I've gotten really refreshed. I admittedly said that after watching the first season, I was going to actually stay with F1 and actually watch it. However, through the whole second diagnosis thing, it kind of fell to the wayside. This time I'm actually really going to try and watch F1. Second season does exactly what the first season did exceptionally well, really bringing you into the world of these racers, bringing you into the world of the politics, the money, the production, all the stuff that's behind the scenes with racing teams, the dramas, the rivalries, the competition, the absolute cutthroat business tactics that happen. And definitely one of the better teams to watch in this season was once again Red Bull. Red Bull had some really cool stories, especially with Alex Elbon coming in at the end, definitely looking at being one of the big prospects for this season and then there's also a lot of inner dramas too going on with Gasly who had just a shit run but then he eventually went to Rosso and then he got a great run at the end of the season they finally were also able to access Ferrari and Mercedes which was really cool even though they only had really one episode each Hamilton would kind of come in every now and then this was the season that the guy got his sixth world championship this is actually based on a comment that I made last year that I was surprised that you were able to see as much as you were especially here same thing here there's a lot of very awkward silences there's a lot of them especially with Renault funny enough I was actually kind of surprised to see how Ricardo kind of turned it around a little bit considering after I watched the first season and they made such a big deal about him moving over from Red Bull his season was shit for the first part and they talk about that something that I enjoyed about the first season though was that while they couldn't talk with Ferrari and Mercedes that they did focus on the middle tier teams and everyone trying to fight for the middle whereas the ones in the back are trying to actually get into something this time there's a little bit more of a mixture and funny enough I thought that the Hamilton episode would be kind of the most boring because there's nothing to him you don't really have that same drive that, that same kind of fierceness that you would think that would have however they went into a little bit more of a personal about him and I actually really enjoyed it I I would say the best episodes are definitely four five and six those were just really well done really well put together the drama was fantastic they talked about williams as well which kind of surprised that williams is here force india is another team now they didn't even talk about them i know that i got a lot of flack for calling them air force india in the last review but hey i was fat then so we'll just we'll just kind of equate it to that so there is a team that is totally not talked about whatsoever they didn't even allow any filming so that was kind of interesting to see if you were a fan of f one or you even are somewhat interested in it this is a great way to watch it it summarizes it all it puts it into really clean concise and very very entertaining short 30 to 40 minute long episodes and it's a great refresher as we're going into the next season i'm really excited to watch Verstappen, Albon, obviously hamilton just killing it again the ghastly actually looks like he might be able to kind of turn it around and then uh, McLaren actually finally got so, a good driver they got some good cars so maybe they actually might do something and then because I'm releasing this today that means you have about four days to watch the season it doesn't take long it took me two days to watch it definitely watch it watch it on your television fuck 4k was absolutely beautiful there's a camera that they use only a couple of times it's unfortunate because i wish i could just watch an entire feed from this camera it's on the fin the front fin on the inside of the left wheel it's the most balls to the wall camera angle that they have it's so intense and every time they would show it i'd be like <gasps> it shows the absolute ferocity and speed that these cars have i'm not going to give this a rating because i don't give documentaries ratings i'm just going to say definitely watch it i really want to watch this again i used to really have fun watching this with my dad when i was younger so i'm looking forward to doing that again hopefully anyways that's all for me see you guys next time thanks for watching the video my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads it's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.